Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the bicycle auto cycle number one deck. All right, so what is the auto cycle number one deck? Uh, if you do a search through my uh, video history, you're gonna see that I did another review called the auto bike back. Well, it's just, uh, a different back design, obviously, and the auto cycle uh, was the first of that series, so that's why it's denoted as number one. Uh, the front of the tuck case says number 808, okay, because rider backs are always 808. Bicycle playing cards down there at the bottom, and it does say that they're auto cycle number one. Uh, it's all done in this purpley uh, foil, okay? It's not embossed, but it is a foil. It's very beautiful, and uh, it does kind of have that throwback feel to it. These will look like a reproduction deck. Does say air cushion finish made in the USA on one side and the other. On the bottom, of course, there's your ad copy and UPC. The back design, of course, is the back design of the cards. You have a vintage tuck seal reproduction, which is cool. And I think the top says standard size retro face. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed for the United States Playing Card Company on their very thin retail stock. They do have a modern cut and air cushion emboss. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click a link below in the description. With this deck, you'll get an ad card about the back design. Let me read it for you while you see some beautiful pictures of this deck. So the Bicycle Auto Cycle number no. 1 deck is an American original. The Bicycle brand celebrates over 130 years of playing card history with the reproduction of an early card back design called Auto Cycle number no. 1, produced from 1901 to 1906. So the intricate design depicts a rider on a motorized bicycle and the graphics used on the box design were inspired by hand-drawn elements from a 1892 Bicycle Junior's deck. Feeling inspired to try a throwback game with your vintage cards? Check out BicycleCards.com for classic and modern game rules. The back design features a normal-sized uh, poker frame uh, and then one solid color uh, of design work. And so you have a very beautiful, very intricate, ornate frame design uh, all wrapped around a rider on a bicycle and it is a two-way image. Now a lot of people always ask how these cards feel and how they handle. Uh, the best thing I can do is give you a scientific analysis and measure them with a caliper. When I measure them with a caliper, I stick 10 into it. That's my standard, that's my go-to so that uh, I can use that number and then compare it against other decks and then maybe give you samples of how they might feel or handle and then you'd say, oh, it's kind of like this or that. Uh, when I stick 10 cards into the caliper, this deck registers at 2.50. 2.50 is incredibly thin. In fact, all those other deck designers that say, oh, we use thin crushed stock paper, this deck is thinner than most decks I've ever measured, okay? Thinner, which is just only evidenced that USPCC is going towards a thinner stock all around. I think the retail stock is thinner and their casino stock is thinner, and that's evidenced by this because this is an off-the-shelf deck, right? This is a deck that I picked up at Target, okay? You're going to find this in your grocery stores, places where United States Playing Card Company cards are sold, and if this is coming in at 2.50, I'm guessing that this is kind of the new trend for them and a lot of their decks coming off the shelf will be a lot thinner stock. Like I said previously, this deck will come with a ad card about the auto cycle number one and an ad card about USPCC. As with all bicycle decks, you'll get a standard joker, one full color, one black and white. Kind of was upset that this didn't, they didn't even try to give you a vintage looking joker. This is the modern joker that comes with all of their modern decks. Also, you're getting the standard ace of spades. So again, they didn't even try to give you a vintage ace of spades. I would have liked uh, ace of spades recreation that was a little bit more vintage throwback, but this is their trademarked ace of spades. So this is what you get. Your pips and indices will all be the retro versions. So if you've seen the retro decks that have come out in the past, uh, this follows suit. Get it, suit? Uh, your pips are kind of bigger, taller, and more widely spaced apart, and your fonts in the corners are smaller. You will also get Bicycle's vintage court cards, okay? So they're kind of gonna look like the current courts kind of married with the Arco courts mixed together, and then the colorings will reflect the back design colors as well. All right, so that is my review of the Auto Cycle number one from Bicycle, from the United States Playing Card Company. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you wanna follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy, and if you need more content, you can always find it at magicorthodoxy.com.